Vai? E aí, pessoas, se liga que acaba de colar aqui no Rio, Henry Cavill. Ele é ninguém mais, ninguém menos do que o cara que dá vida ao parque quente nos cinemas. E é o super-homem também, mas xuxa, ninguém pode saber. Em 2016, o Henry vai dar uma porrada no Batman, no filme que tá todo mundo esperando. O ator que também tá por aqui é o Arm Hammer, ele que fez os gêmeos do filme A Rede Social, aquele que conta a história do Facebook, tipo o Rudy Raquel, lembra dele? É um Facebook, onde meus colegas e eu estão fazendo coisas que ninguém nesta sala, incluindo e especialmente seus clientes, são intelectualmente ou criativamente capazes de fazer. Você nunca me perguntou? Só começar um outro projeto? E o que esses dois malucos estão fazendo por aqui? Eles vieram divulgar o um novo filme do Guy Ritchie, O Agente da Uncle. Cara, eu já assisti, é animal. When you hear something that sounds like a gunshot, drive. O filme é um remake de uma série de TV dos anos 60 e conta a história de dois grandes agentes secretos muito diferentes um do outro, que se odeiam, mas são obrigados a trabalhar juntos em uma missão que pode salvar o mundo de uma grande catástrofe causada por uma bomba nuclear. É um filme de ação de primeira qualidade com muito bom gosto. E eu fui convidado para trocar uma ideia com os caras. Bora lá. Hi, I have watched the movie and I love it. It's everything so fast and dynamic. We can even check the phone during the, the movie because it's very, very fast. You be fascinating with the, the story. Oh, you. you shouldn't check a phone during any yes, movie, though. And Let's just say it. Yes, and nowadays it's very difficult. Don't check the phone. And this go. movie, I... Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> stop good. it. Look there. Why do you think the movie works so greatly? They mix from action and humor. I, I think that's a major part, part of it. Of it yeah, yeah. It, that's kind of um, like one thing which Guy is really good at is injecting humor in a way which isn't too obvious. And even in a serious situation, like like the torture scene, you're going, okay, there's some funny moments in here. So it, it just elevates it and brings it up. So you're not stuck on one tone throughout any scene. The thing is, I work better alone. I work better alone too. What is that? Super hardened boron sharpened with a CO2 laser. CO2 laser. Coming? One of the main songs on the soundtrack of the film is a music from a great Brazilian artist, the Tom Zé. <laughs> It was very nice, different in that situation. Uh, did you get the chance of listening to some Brazilian music during your stay here? Have you? Yeah, I mean, yeah. just just like on the radio and stuff like that, and yeah. Yeah, we listened to some samba last night. Yeah, yeah. live samba. We had a live uh, a band came yeah. and they did like a samba and they did dancing and everything. It was, it was, it was great. It was, it was beautiful. Nice. Yeah. Did you listen to some? I haven't listened to any funk yet. No. Yeah, it's different. That's okay. <laughs> okay. The movie happens... Oh, we know you don't like it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the movie happens in the 60s. How was it like to come back to those days? Was it fun for you? Well, I don't know if I came back to them, because I was never in the 60s. I'm a little too young for that, but it was... I was. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. It was... <laughs> Good moisturizer. Yeah. It, it, was, it was great fun getting to play in the 60s, because we really incorporated all of the best elements of the 60s. The style, the music, the cars, the locations, like everything. We really cherry-picked the best part of the 60s, so I would say we had a great time doing it. Yeah, it was, it was so much fun. It really was. Henry, in the film, your character solo is specialized in stole things. Yeah. How did you get the invitation to my party? I stole it. So you're a thief. You hope you wear a mask. Sometimes. Just never when I'm stealing things. Here in Brazil, it's called Mão Leve, when we stole things. Okay. Yes. Did you learn some sticks from the road? How was it for you? Um, oh, there are any tricks. It was... I mean, I learned how to pull a tablecloth off a table without knocking thing off, but that's that's kind of a trick. You have to set that up so it's all especially done. Um, otherwise, I mean, a lot of the stealing stuff that I do is all done by like special gadgets and everything, and it's all set up. That big safe that I open is all uh, big setup. I didn't have to learn anything for that. 
Um, but I, I definitely enjoy playing the character. It, it's playing that kind of guy who's not obviously the typical CIA agent, and he goes about things a different way. Made it, made it more interesting for me. Napoleon Solo. The CIA's most effective agent. Julia Kuriaki. KGB, the youngest man to join in their best within three years. America is teaming up with Russia. Things could get a little messy. I mean, you have been in Rio for a while, and I saw your Instagram, and you have been walking around town. Do you like that? What catch your eye here in Rio? Oh, so much. I mean, we did Sugarloaf, yep. the, which was amazing. The cable cars and all that was yes. beautiful. But I think my favorite thing so far is I just went down to Copacabana Beach and just walked all the way up it and then walked over to Ipanema and walked down that beach for a little just bit. Walk is yeah, nice. I just love getting out and walking and seeing all the little local places and the restaurants and the people selling the stuff. It's, it's good fun. Nice. You walk here too? Um, I haven't done any walking around yet. <laughs> um, but I went to Sugarloaf yes. and uh, really enjoyed it there. The weather wasn't sunny, but the clouds made it look very dramatic and it was really, really beautiful. I loved it's different. it. It's a different place up there. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's special up there. Energy. It's yeah, crazy to exactly. think about the people who built it. Like, yeah. how the hell did they get up there? It's amazing. It's crazy. They must have built a base camp up yeah. there and just worked, but like all the material and all that, it, that would be some, tough. That's some serious work, like yeah. getting those lines across. Because I think it was built traveling. in like 1910 they started yeah. building it or something. I mean, before there was really a lot of right. stuff to make something like that easy. Yeah. Kind of easy. We were thinking that it would make a great uh, sequel for Man From U.N.C.L.E. here. Oh, good chase in the cable yeah. cars. Oh, that's this guy that just for today is very nice to meet you. Oh, thank you so much. Good to meet you too. Bye bye. Yeah, thank you. Have a good See one. Thank you. Com a gente da Anco estreia dia 3 de setembro nos cinemas de todo o Brasil e vai assistir porque é. Não pode falar isso, mas é.